Hi guys, welcome to the second video of this three-part series. In the previous video, we created a sketch text for the embossing. Now let's jump into the specifics of using the wrap feature to create the embossing. First, let's pre-select the sketch text and search for the wrap feature in the search command bar. Under the source sketch view, you can see that it has already been populated with the sketch text. So there are three options here, emboss, deboss and scribe. Embossing adds material to the model, creating protrusions. Debossing removes material and creates recessed characters. As for the scribe option, it will create split lines based on the shape of the characters. Now we will leave the emboss option check. Next, we will click on the surface upon which we want the emboss characters to sit on. We are going to do that on the convex surface. So let's click on that. And we will choose an extrusion thickness of 5 mm. And let's click OK. Now let's do a cross section across the characters. You can see that the characters are normal to the curved surface, essentially across the whole surface. If this is your design intent and you plan to produce this using rapid prototyping or 3D printing, you can leave it at that. However, if you want to do this with the traditional injection molding method, uh, this model will not be ideal. No matter how you set the pull direction, there will always be certain portions of the embossing that form an undercut. So let's go back to the wrap feature and see what other options are there. You will see that there is an option here to select a pull direction. So in this case, let's select the top plane. And click OK. Now let's re-examine the cross section here. You can see that the characters are now normal to the top plane. Now unfortunately, there is no option to include a draft angle in the wrap feature, so you will need to add the draft manually. In the next video, I'm going to talk about alternative ways of creating embossed text in your models. Alright, I will see you soon.